Hey, good morning, everyone. Good morning. I think we'll just give it another couple of minutes and then we can go through the agenda items. Can you pop a link to the agenda in, in the chat? Yeah. Thanks. Is that also, is this agenda item supposed to also go to the GitHub page? Because I hadn't seen it. Uh... Yeah, so what happens is that the uh, SIG hasn't been officially created. So okay. uh, we're just starting to, you know, this is like our first meeting, really. So we had another meeting like a, about a month ago, but not many people were there. So, uh, and then, uh, the vote uh, went out to the TOC, um, I think last week, uh, to create the SIG. Um, and it's looking like it's going to be, you know, uh, created, uh, but but it hasn't been officially created, right? Uh, so, yeah, so one of the agenda items that I have there is to uh, uh, update that readme file so we can, or so that you know, anybody can just go to the page and see what the agenda is and uh, and anybody can join the meeting. Yeah, the, not to make things more complicated, but you guys were tasked to do the Harbor graduation review, uh, SC grant time, uh, Quinton uh, was the one that basically uh, kind of spearheaded that. So th that's why I'm here. Um, if we can spend a few minutes to discuss that today, that'd be great. We don't, no review needs to be done today, but I just want to talk about it. Oh, uh, sure, sure, for sure. Do you mind if I add it to the agenda or? You go ahead and add it. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Thank, thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah, uh, so Quint I haven't been able to touch bases with Quentin. Uh, I think a vacation. So, um, so hopefully, it's whenever he pops up, then um, we should be able to, you know, sync up with him. Um, so yeah, so uh, so the first I have on the agenda is uh, basically call for participation. So uh, we're looking for another co chair and we're also looking for tech leads so um, so anybody who wants to who is interested in run time uh, there's, there's an example of projects in the uh, charter so uh, if you're interested in participating uh, so in, and then there's also a link uh, about the responsibilities for a, a co-chair and a tech lead uh, describing you know kind of like what they're supposed to do uh, so yeah, so so feel free to kind of jump in if you uh, if you want to kind of uh, you know be part of uh, the the group. So anybody? Uh -huh. sure. Yeah, this is Diane Fatima. I'm interested uh, in possibly being a co-chair. I want to make sure that I really understand the duties uh, involved and everything. But I think what I would bring to this is um, knowledge of the AI runtimes. That's what I work on at Red Hat. So um, I think I just need to know how much of a time commitment you expect it to be. You have any? Yeah, yeah I think I, that's not really described uh, in the document, but um, 
I think the reason we have co-chairs is because uh, not everyone can, you know, uh, say run meetings or, you know, do different things that need to be done. Um, so uh, I think it's not something that that you have to spend tons of time on, um, on it. So um, maybe uh, when Quentin comes back, maybe he can give a little bit more details about that. So, I, I mean, I, I, from my Experience. I, I just kind of jumped in, and uh, and then for me, it's just you know uh, being uh, you know able to kind of be in these meetings. I think at least like so we have uh, these meetings that scheduled like every two weeks, uh, and then doing some of the due diligence with the projects and 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 reviewing the projects uh, um, and, and uh, say like uh, if for sandbox for example. Uh, the projects come in and then we have to kind of give a recommendation to the TOC whether uh, they sh it should be considered as a, as a you know, potential sandbox CNCF project. Uh, and then there's for the, you know, innovation and, and graduation and doing some, some due diligence. Uh, and, and now, so, I mean, and, and not has the same expertise, right? Um, some of the folks, are going to be uh, working maybe on some of the areas that they're more interested in or more about. So. Okay. Okay. So that gives me an idea. So you don't, uh, as long as you're familiar with a piece of this, you could help be a co-chair. I am interested in being a co-chair then. I think I yeah. could maybe give like four hours every, maybe at the most every week, I think, but uh, anything. Oh, yeah. Yeah, something like that, and and it, and it it and you, it, it's all kind of up to you too. I mean, if you want to participate more a certain week, or you know, you, you have less time, another week, and and then yeah, there will be. So it will be up to uh, I think uh, up to us and coordinate. So, uh, and then yeah, we we'd love to have you, right? So I mean, uh, I think uh, also the uh, AI expertise will be great. Uh, so some of the Know how those things uh maybe there, there's going to be more projects coming in so okay. in, in yeah all right great so i'll throw my hat in the ring then cool yeah and then and then we're also looking for tech leads uh, i mean i think a co-chair can also be a tech lead or the other way around um uh but if you know anybody else you know who wants interested you know um you know bring it over okay yeah i think there is someone from red hat who's interested in being a tech lead Okay. Pretty, I'm cool. pretty sure Ivashi Mahani will it will be winning, uh, willing to to be a tech lead um, from Red Hat. She works on um, cryo and all the the run times here as well from the engineering team. So we just couldn't get her. She's in Prague today, so we couldn't get her on the call. Cool. Yeah. So it's just. Um... Yeah, and, and you can send them the links to the documents to the charter, you know, so and, um, and hopefully when Quentin comes back, because he's initially who started this charter, so um, we can, you know, add it at everybody who, want, who would like to participate. Sounds great. Mm -hmm. Cool. So the other item that I have there is the... Uh, runtime charter it's it's uh you know what we talked about before so it's the pr is open so there's still some uh review that need to be addressed uh so quinton's not here so so but then for awareness uh you know everybody can take a look at that pr and cool yeah oh and, and yeah so so another um so i've seen some of the um, uh, other uh, six, for example, the six security, um, uh, they've been around for maybe six or eight months. So they've actually have a pretty well established process. Um, so one of the things that, that we maybe going forward would like to have is somebody who, you know, uh, writes down what goes on in these meetings and basically do the scribes. Uh, and so that, and it, we'll, we'll hopefully set up the process as we go forward. Uh, so the other item, TOC sick process. So uh, Liz Rice, she's the chair of the 
TOC, she, uh, and some of the other TOC members came up with a process uh, of interaction between the TOC and the SIG. Uh, uh, so like a flow diagram, uh, so it's, it's still in the works. Uh, uh, it's not fully defined yet. Uh, so if you have any input, uh, feel free to chime in. Uh, uh, so the idea is just, uh, you know, the six are, are meant to be there to support this, the TOC and, and provide some guidance to them. And, and a lot of the members in the TOC don't have all the expertise, but nobody has expertise on every area. So the idea is just kind of spread the load m more and and have the six do maybe some of, some of the work that uh, some of the TOC uh, uh, doesn't have time to do or, or doesn't have uh, expertise in, so, uh, uh, so you can help out in that area. Any questions about this or, I mean, anybody has any input on that or? We've been, uh, I've been participating in the, the SIG app delivery process um, for a couple of these things. It, it's a little nebulous, but it, it is getting more firm and more better documented or so it's it's all a work in progress. Yeah. So, cool. uh -huh. so does anyone here know sort of the you talked about the sandbox. Can you talk me through how the graduation process works? Because at the I've worked with the uh, projects that are, you know, at the end like Prometheus and things like that. But how did they enter this process? Can you explain that? Uh, yeah, I, I, myself, I'm not a completely, uh, you know, knowledgeable about the, every step of the way, but, uh, generally is, um, you know, they go into sandbox, then, then, uh, uh PR gets open and it gets approved and it goes into sandbox. And then, uh, then when the project has gathered or, or, or has gathered, uh, I think TOC sponsors, then, then, uh, uh, PR gets open and then into like so that the project goes into incubation and then there's some due diligence and I think this is kind of like where the six come in and they they do some more due diligence about the project whether that's kind of on the, on the path to graduation for example uh, or, or, or you know things like having more users uh, some companies be, uh, using the project in production uh, and then finally, I think uh, when, when it's incubation in incubation for some time, then a PR also gets open and uh, you know, for the project to graduate. Uh, and, and I think there are some criteria defining on some of the CNCF uh, pages or readme files in the GitHub re repository. And I, I think the criteria there is like you, something like used by say, you know, over a hundred uh, customers or something like that, or, or, or you know, a large number of people is running in production for more than say two years. You know, so some of the, uh, you know, making sure that uh, it's a very stable pro uh, uh, project. But that's that's kind of like in the summary what what it looks like. I I, I don't know all the details, or and, but if you go through the pages, you can find you know uh, more details. Okay, great. So then if we identify a gap, because that's talked about in this document, um, if you identify a gap, do you then go out, reach out to an open source project and invite them to be part of this process? Is that how you fill the gaps? Oh, oh okay. So, um, yeah, so I think you can, I mean, uh, there's no, yeah, you, I mean, if there's a gap, you, 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 you can, right? So, I mean, that's, that's yeah, I think anybody can raise. So, like, if you uh, if you think you have potential uh, to be part of the CNCF, and, and and then you gain benefits from from being part of the CNCF, yeah. So, uh, but it it all has to go through the process, right? So, I I've seen there's a few processes that or a few projects that that haven't been approved, for example, right? So, I mean, they they try, but then then there's some criteria that they don't fit in, and and and. They, they don't get approved. Yeah, so certainly any project uh, that, that wants to become part of the CNCF needs to basically open the PR for the donation. And then they need to work with the TOC to identify two sponsors, potentially three. They're, they're basically having a discussion to change it to three. 
that are willing to sponsor that project into the sandbox. Um, as part of that, there is some uh, very light due diligence that happens by the TOC for sandbox. Later on, as a project advances stages, whether it's incubation or, or graduation, that's where the six come in and they're responsible for shepherding the much larger due diligence that needs to happen uh, to, to make this work. If you actually look at the Harbor graduation review, that's one of the items on the agenda that I have, uh, you can see the due diligence doc is about 26, 30 pages. Uh, this is what we created as Harbor team to basically go through that review. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, thanks. Uh, so the other item that I have on the agenda is uh, this new CNCF project that, uh, or this uh, project that uh, uh, they opened a PR for, uh, for donation from Microsoft from Red Hat, it's called uh, Kida. Uh, it's Kubernetes uh, autoscaler. Uh, so I, I, I think uh, Amy is not around. So I don't know if uh, some of the other six I've, uh, actually, so I'll, I'll think back with the six security and, and, and see if they have any format. Um, I think Liz uh, uh, said on the chat that uh, if we don't have a specific format, then we uh, we can actually interact with with our uh, six uh, liaison or, or TOC liaison. Sorry, uh, so to find out uh, whether we can recommend it or not. But I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna kind of wait until Quinton is back, and so uh, we can uh, go forward on 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 this project. Uh, and then, and then the other item that I have is the readme for for the initial uh, sig runtime, so uh, people are uh, aware of the sig runtime that is available and, and that, that is there, and uh, they can find what, when we have our meetings, uh, and so basically to get the the, the group started. So I think we can talk about your har uh, harbor graduation now. Absolutely, thank you, Ricardo. Mm -hmm. So, so essentially, um, me, you guys don't mind. Let me let me share my screen. Sure. Um, it might be a little bit easier. Let me know if you can see it. Can you guys see my screen? I see it. Yeah. Excellent. Um, so, essentially, the so we have a PR for the Harvard graduation proposal. And as part of the PR, the responsibility for some of the shepherding of other SIGs that may have to review it um, lies on SIG grind time. That's something that Quinton kind of spearheaded here, if you see in the comments later on. So there's storage and security SIG that also need to take a look. But CNCF had asked us to go through SIG runtime first, which is why we're here. God. Now, we are willing to work with you guys um, to um, to spend as much time as necessary to to answer your questions. But I think the first starting point is these two documents. The first one is this technical due diligence document for graduate in Harbor. This is uh, something that I created as a maintainer of Harbor. It walks you through uh, a gamut of logistical, um, uh, governance, security, architecture items on Harbor. It's 30 pages. We try to not miss anything so that when you guys go through this, um, there's not much that you have to ask more uh, of us to produce as a team. Uh, obviously, a lot of these have links back to the GitHub page that Harbor has. Um, it has customer testimonials. Um, so I feel like, you know, you have um, a, a complete view of Harbor. Um, in addition to that, uh, Quinton created this due diligence by the CNCF six, which is where you guys um, as a SIG get to add some feedback in terms of uh, answering some questions for Harbor. You, like, I don't feel like you need to answer each question one by one, because we, I try to follow the same format in my due diligence. You can probably just say meet all requirements or something like that. But if you want to be more explicit and spend more time on this, obviously feel free. Um, so, so that's that's kind of it. Um, any questions on that? Uh, so you uh, 
have to update this document or this is something uh, you, or, you, as the, the, the USSA have to update this document the other documents the one we create okay so uh, and then you have a I see you have a place for questions and then uh, and basically we have to as a sig uh, specify passes criteria passes or doesn't yeah. have yeah okay yeah, yeah. Um, and I don't think you need to go through each one of them it's super like I mean like I, I don't know if you want to sit down and, and answer these questions if you look at the like for example you successful in production you can come back to my document and basically there's a harbor users uh, adoption you can go here and look at people that have used it um, so each of them I tried to make it easy for you guys to find things I created my document before Quinton created his. Uh, so um, let me actually put here the document that Seek Runtime has to complete. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I haven't gone through the document. So I, I, I yeah, I haven't synced up with Quinton. So I don't know what the. Uh, yeah, you know, we had in mind, but uh, yeah, I'll take a look at the document. Um, uh, the, the the biggest thing that we're looking for from a from a harbor team is to have some form of understanding of when you guys might start looking into this, uh, because we've been waiting for a couple of months right now in this uh, graduation uh, stage. So um, just let me know. We'll work with you guys and identify the right the right thing. Yeah. Uh, so we have a SIG Runtime Slack channel. So if uh, I think uh, if you join that channel and then maybe uh, you can ping us and, and then uh, maybe ping Quentin too. So uh, in, uh, yeah, in, in Diane is here and uh, oh, sorry. Um, uh, Yeah, and, and, and by the way, I, I don't want to be, uh, I would also like to participate in SIG Runtime. Uh, you know, I'm already one of the leads in Kubernetes community, so uh, I, I would love to participate more, but it I would feel it would be a conflict of interest to participate before Harbor review gets done, so. Yeah, 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 gotcha, gotcha. Now, I, th I think uh, since I was saying that since Diana's here, so maybe uh, if you want to be part of uh, participate too, she can also take a look at the, document uh i don't i don't think you have to read it all but then we, we can also uh uh kind of wait on a little bit uh, until we hear back from quentin so absolutely so what uh, i've already pinged quentin on the on the pr um i don't want to ping him again uh i'll uh if you guys can talk internally um and then since you guys meet every two weeks uh i will likely uh, be here in two weeks again to discuss this. Okay, great. So what? Uh, so uh, Harbor is already in incubation, right? So uh, that, is, that, that is correct. How long has it been in incubation? Um, about fifteen months now, fourteen months. Okay. So it's I don't know if it's more it's than that, like 15, 15 months. Gotcha. And and I don't know if um, there's a time frame for that for between. Uh, the, yeah, that, that, that isn't really. It's uh, more around, you know, has a project reached maturity to uh, facilitate uh, the need to actually give it that elevated status within CNCF. Um, it, we have we have so many users that we don't know of. Like every every few days or every week, we find out about a new user that's using Harbor at a scale that we never even fathomed. Like you know, we had the other day. Uh, like right before the Christmas holiday, that's a company that's using Harbor and they have terabytes of storage in Harbor with thousands of images and tags. But we didn't even know about these guys. There's like so many of them. So people are coming out of the woodworks and telling us that, you know, hey, we've been using Harbor. We love it. We're putting it in production. So kind of getting that to the next stage in CNCF is the natural progression. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it sounds like, um, yeah, it's... Uh... It's on, on track to being graduated. So. Cool. 
All right, anybody has anything else? I think uh, I think this is a short call. This is uh, our first one. Any, any other items that they want to talk about? Going once, twice. <laughs> when is the, so um, when is Quentin back, I guess, is the question. And, um, and do I, you? Yeah, just so we could get his two cents on um, the review of Harbor and and start yeah. working on that. I I, I I have no idea. So I mean, uh, I haven't been in touch. Uh, and then I think he, uh, Michael, you ping, you ping him right, and then he's not. Uh, he he hasn't replied yet, right? Uh, that, that that is correct. Um, so uh, I don't know if he's still off from uh, Christmas vacation. Possibly, I think I think it might be off the grid because I haven't seen anything <laughs> completely off the grid. <laughs> yeah. So uh, and um, so we do have a, a there's a, a meeting on Tuesday. I won't be able to make that meeting too. There's a TOC meeting. So, uh, uh, so some of the people uh, in the, interested in the SIG also can attend that meeting. So um, I I, st I started attending those meetings as well. So. Oh, oh, and uh, yeah, Michael, you can also bring it up on the on, on that meeting as well, too, if you if you want to. Well, the the TOC is aware of this process. They already did the due diligence. So Zhang uh, from the TOC already gave thumbs up. Okay. okay. So they, this is just uh, the six right now taking a look at this, but uh, okay. the the TOC members already looked at it, okay. and, we, and we have I think three sponsors. So that's like we're. We're pretty well set on that. Diane, by the way, are you the Diane that used to attend SIG Windows meetings a couple years ago? From are Red Hat? You, Diane Mueller, did you? I didn't. This is Diane Fatima. This is confusing with two Dianes. Oh, OK. Yeah, I was talking about Diane Mueller. Yeah, no, pro probably it was me at some point. Um, I've been pretty busy with a few other things. Um, and uh, um, I'll probably just listen in on these calls because I'm also the community person for uh, Project Quay. Um, so, uh, and Quay and Claire. Uh, and Very cool. Yeah, we're heavy users of Claire. All right. Well, it, in, in about 20 minutes, we're going to do a briefing on um, Claire 4 and um, Claire Core. If you want to join us, I'll pop the URL for the, the meeting in the chat. I have a conflict, but if that's going to be recorded, my team would definitely love to see that. Okay. Well, it will be. In, and if you look on um, OpenShift Commons uh, Twitter channel, I'll tweet out the, the uh, recording. Yeah, it's a little bit confusing with two Diane. So. Yeah. <laughs> I know. It's all right. We deal with it all the time yeah. at Red Hat. <laughs> yeah. I think we're the only two Dianes in all of Red Hat, though. So. Yeah, that's it. You only get us, and you, and you luck, luckily get both of us. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, I love a link. Yeah, if you can pop that in the Zoom chat, that'd be great. Thank you. Yeah, Diane, I want to see that too in OpenShift Commons today. Give, give me a second. I'm just popping around calendars here. Uh, What's somebody else on the call? Is that Derek? Hey, yeah, sorry. I'm just listening in. Um, I'm a... Container D maintainer. Just, oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, well, we'll see. I mean, I, I, I'm at Docker, uh, been on Container D for a while, but my thing is usually limited time. Uh, but I can try to participate when I can. But I don't, I don't know about time commitments right now. We'll see. Cool. By the way, Ricardo, I'm assuming we're going to start recording these meetings in the future because folks might want to come in and view them offline. I know it didn't happen today, but... I think it's being recorded, actually. So. Yeah, it is being recorded. Oh, okay. I oh, can it, it doesn't show the recording icon, I guess. Yeah, it's, uh, it shows for me. So if there's a little red uh, dot on the top left that says recording. So. Hmm. All right, I put so, the, yeah, I put the link... In the chat, so if you, Th thank you. Got it. Yeah, yeah it's working. So these okay. meetings are set up by the CNCF. So Amy from the CNCF uh, set up this meeting. So I, I guess all these meetings from CNCF are are being recorded.
all good. All right, I'm gonna drop off. It sounds like we're at the end of it and I'm gonna get ready for that other briefing that I'm gonna do in about 20 minutes. All right, guys. Awesome. All right, thank you guys. Bye -bye. I'll see you next time. Thank you, I'll see you in a few weeks. Bye.